Good morning and welcome to our collective worship. Today we're going to be looking at the story of Elisha and a guy called Naaman uh, who was a leper. But before we do that, we're going to invite Jesus, light of the world, to be with us and to light our candle. So maybe you've got a candle in your classroom as well that you could light in your own setting. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So Lord Jesus, light of the world, we pray that you come and shine to us today. So our story today of Elisha and Naaman is taken from 2 Kings 5 and I'm going to read it from the Lion First Bible and it's called The Girl Who Helped. So I'll read this to you and we'll show you the pictures. So General Naaman looked at himself in the mirror. He had spots and sore places all over. It's getting worse, he said gloomily. His wife gave a sigh. They were very worried. But what could they do? Not even the cleverest doctor could help. Now General Naaman had led his army into battle against the people of Israel and won. He brought a little girl home to help his wife. The girl was very unhappy. She missed her mother and father, her brothers and her sisters so much. But Mrs Naaman was kind. She dried the girl's tears. Now the little girl wanted to help them. There's a man back home in Israel who can make people better, she said. Mrs Naaman told the general, and General Naaman told the king. The king wrote a letter at once, and the general set off with his horses and his men. The king of Israel read the letter. My general is ill, it said. I want you to make him better. I can't make people better, the king of Israel said. But if I don't, there will be another battle. Whatever shall I do? Just send him to me, said the prophet Elisha. God can make him well. So General Naaman went to see Elisha, but Elisha didn't even come to the door. He just sent a messenger. Wash seven times in the river, the Jordan River, and you will be well again. The general rode off in a huff. He wasn't going to do as Elisha said. The man didn't even come to the door. And if all I have to do is wash, there are nicer rivers at home. But it's such an easy thing to do, his men said. Why not just try it? So General Naaman went to the river, the Jordan River. He washed himself once, he washed himself twice, he washed himself three times, he washed himself four, five, six times, he washed himself seven times. Then he looked at his arms, no spots or sore places there. He looked at his legs, no spots or sore places there. Not a spot, not a sore place anywhere. He was well again. Hooray for Elisha! Hooray for God and hooray for the little girl that helped. So I hope you've had a chance to have a little look at the discussion questions that we put up and maybe add a little bit of a chat. Now there's just two or three things that I really want to pull out of today's story. And the first is that God uses the humble people to make a big difference. Now who was the hero of the story today? We might be tempted to say that it was Elisha, but you could just as easily say that it was a little servant girl who was the servant of Naaman's wife. So her backstory is that she'd been kidnapped from Israel and she'd been bought to be a servant to Naaman's wife. Essentially, she was a servant girl. And yet it's her suggestion that back home, I know somebody that can help, that sets in course this whole series of events that leads to General Naaman being healed. He was a mighty general, she was a little servant girl, and yet God used her to help him. Now, a, a great little saying that I once heard is that if you ever think you're too small to make a difference, try sharing a bed with a mosquito. 
Uh, and that phrase is basically saying that even like the little mosquito can make a big difference to something much bigger than itself. You're never too small to do something great for God. And the final thing to say is that God's gift is free and it's for all. It's for Naaman, it's for the servants, it's for the greatest to the least. It's a bit like the gift of love that God has given all of us through Jesus. So Naaman was healed of his leprosy, but we've all been healed uh, of the consequences of our sin by Jesus dying on the cross for us. And that's something to really celebrate today. So remember that God loves you. God can use you however big or small, and God requires our obedience and our yes. So we're going to say together the Lord's Prayer. So the words will be on the screen. So if you want to join in with me, we'll say, Our Father, who art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
like never before Oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name Yes, I'll worship your holy name